All my works on display. Good afternoon, everybody is here. Uh, thank you for attending. Um, today we have a very special guest with us. It's Mr. Frank Salahat, and he's a local author. Uh, you're from the Seal Park. Mm -hmm. We're here today gathered at the Park Memorial Library. And he agreed to come today and share a little bit of his work with us. Uh, he's a graphic artist. He uh, writes, uh, is well, he's a writer, a local author. He has published a couple of uh, comic books, which he has kindly donated, actually, to the library. And he will be uh, teaching today a workshop on how to create your very own, um, I believe, art cards and uh, slash yes. comic books or zines, right? Zines. So we will we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. So thank you for coming. And uh, without further ado. All right. Imagine this scenario. There's a team of scientists and they're working on a suit, a super suit. And whoever wears it gets powers. You know, they, they can be super strong. They can be really tall if they want. You know. What if one of those scientists chose you for, to wear the suit? Now, what would you do with it? Would you become a hero? Or you know, you're having a bad day, you want, I'm going to be a villain today. Or are you going to use it for fame and fortune? You know? But that's the great things about comics about stories about zines that you can make any story you can create anything and let me show you so that that scenario i just told you i made a comic out of it here's the suit and this is a, a story that i that i did i had fun doing it and not only did i make this i have my own suit so when I was a kid, when I was your age, I love comics, I love art, I love drama. When I was eight years old, I had an accident, I was hit, hit by a car. And afterwards, what I would do, I would kind of create a story about that. You know, what if when I was hit by a car, that was, you know, that was an opportunity to become a hero. I was chosen, I was in the wrong place, but something good came from it. So I would create stories. And I would draw characters. I would, I would come up with scenarios. As I got older, I learned that you can make comics. You can make zines. You can make them at home. You don't need to be a, you know, with a big company, DC, Marvel. You just do it on, on your own. You can do it with friends. My name is Frank Salazar. I'm a comic creator. And for the last couple of years, I've been making comics. And I have stories published in these books. So these books, they're, they're special books because you're, you're not going to be able to go into the bookstores and, and get them because these were done print on demand. So that's a group of us artists. We said, hey, we want to make comics. We got together. And this guy put up a new book and submitted our story. The way I found him was that I was looking up on YouTube. You know, I want to get better at, at telling stories. I want to get better at, at drawing. And I found some YouTubers. There's this great channel called Circleworks Art Labs that he, he has a whole free course on YouTube on making comics and go step by step. And I watched every video. There's another channel. It was called Marsh Makes Comics. And he had a challenge to make mini comics. And I was like, mini comics? That's pretty cool. So I got into it. Uh, I found that, that one of those comic groups. And then I started, started making stories. I came up with this character, Captain Courage. You know, So what if, you know, when I was... And I had I, I made the suit. So what if you know when I was little and I had the suit, you know, I could you know stop the car or stop bullets, you know, don't worry, it's not real. You know, 
what if so I, I made a story i made a story of this character you know he wears a suit and he's a he's from from the war era but you know there's an accident and he, he finds himself here so a part of that story is actually my very first story is in that one right there so that's what we're going to do we're going to make comics we're going to create so let's get creating